What's going on guys? The Comics Kid 2099 here and I want to talk to you about Rat Queens Volume 1 Sass and Sorcery. Uh, this collects the first five issues of Curtis Weeb and Rock Up Church's Rat Queen series. And uh, I have heard a lot of people uh, describe this series as Conan the Barbarian meets Mean Girls. And I think that's a pretty apt description of this series. Uh, the basic plot is that you've got the Rat Queens, uh, these four women, they are a questing party in this small village slash town, and they go out and they fight monsters and stuff, but they also cause a lot of havoc in this town. They and several other questing parties that live in this town. And at the start of the series, uh, they all, they've all gotten in a big fight uh, that's destroyed a lot of property damage, and so the sheriff says, okay, you guys are all gonna go out and you're gonna do these missions if you want to keep living in this town. And it's stupid stuff like, you guys are going to go clean the stables over there, and you guys are going to go kill trolls way out over there, and stuff like that. And um, this group uh, discovers that uh, all of these uh, missions are actually traps, and somebody has sent all of these guys out on a trap trying to get them all killed. And then you're trying to find out, okay, who is it that wants all of these questing parties killed? And that's basically the plot of this story. Uh, one thing that I really liked about this book is it does a really good job of working world building while not letting the story take a stop in order to do some world building. A lot of times when you have a very different world that is completely alien to us and is nothing like our world, what you will see is the story will just take a complete back seat and character building will take a complete back seat so that the author can build up this world and introduce you to this world and tell you some things about this world that you wouldn't know inherently just by looking at the story. What I really like about Rat Queens is it doesn't let the characterization and the story take a back seat to the world building. You get different world building scenarios through conversations while the story keeps going. Uh, we find out that one of these girls, uh, she she comes from a family that basically worships Cthulhu. Uh, it's some creature that's by a different name, but more or less it's Cthulhu. And you find that out through a conversation that feels very natural. Uh, and the story and the characterization doesn't just stop so that we can find out this bit of information and find out a little bit about this basically Cthulhu worshiping cult that lives somewhere in this world. And so I thought that that was a really impressive feat that we uh, and also Upchurch that they worked on in a story that uh, they should show us bits and pieces of this world while not making the other elements of a good story fall to the wayside. Having said that, I will say that the characterization of these four girls is something that is very slow in getting started. By the time you get to the end of the fifth issue, uh, I feel like it's very good at establishing who these characters are by that point. But it takes a little while to get used to each of these characters and kind of figure out their characterizations. Now the story, uh, it's a pretty simple and straightforward story, uh, so I don't feel like that this book really fell behind on establishing this story. In fact, by the end of this book, uh, there's even more story here than what you are aware of. Uh, at first you're thinking it's a very simple story and that the good guys kind of take care of it uh, by the end of this book, but there's actually a lot more going on here that presumably these characters are going to have to deal with. And so I like that. Uh, but I do feel like if you just pick this book up knowing absolutely nothing and you start reading it, it's going to take you maybe by issue three to really get comfortable with these characters. Uh, it takes a little while to establish all of them, I guess is what I'm saying. And I'm not really sure if there is a way that these uh, creators could have uh, fixed that in any way. I feel like uh, this was maybe the best way to introduce these characters and kind of get them set up. But it did feel a little bit slow for my taste. But I feel like that's a problem that will go away if I read volumes 2 and 3. And I do plan on reading those volumes uh, and however many volumes are out by this point. I think it's only 3 by this point. But um, I feel like that's something that won't be as much of a problem when I go in to read volume 2 because I'll have already grown comfortable and familiar with these characters in this volume. Uh, but that is a book uh, that I definitely think you guys should read, uh, Rat Queens. I had a heck of a lot of fun reading it. It's a very enjoyable series uh, and it's definitely got more going on than what you can tell in this volume. I can already tell that the creators have some ideas for future stories that are kind of seeded here, but you can't really tell what's in store for the characters and the audiences. So I'm really looking forward to reading more of this series. And that is all that I have to say about Rat Queens Volume 1, Sass and Sorcery. Hope you guys will check out this series, and uh, I will see you guys later in the week with some other videos. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.